Hi! Welcome to Don's Key Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you my Node MCU web server conveyor counter. As you can see, I have here my DIY cardboard conveyor with gear motor, my ESP8266, and my IR sensor. I have here my bottle cups acting as load to our conveyor. Our project will count and display in real time how many bottle cups were sensed by our IR sensor. You should be able to use our mobile phones or our laptop to access the real time count of the number of bottle cups that has passed in our conveyor. So, let's try this one. So, as you can see, the number increases. Okay, so let's try again. And that's all about how this project works. Do you want to know how I did this? Then let's start exploring. Let's discuss a little bit about the design process of our ESP8266 web server conveyor counter and we'll discuss also some code later in the presentation. So first thing that we need to discuss is the design process. So as you can see, uh, this is the overall design of our project. I have attached an, an IR sensor here to the node MCU ESP8266. And this ESP8266 acts as our web server that opens an HTML page that is mobile responsive. And then this page, we can access this either through our uh, mobile phone or laptop that is connected to our Wi-Fi. So what we did was we placed the IR sensor at the end of the conveyor. And when the IR sensor senses that bottle cup which acts as our load is passing through then it relays the signal to our ESP8266 and then this ESP8266 then sends a WebSocket message to our HTML page so I have, I have here the IR sensor and we place this IR sensor at the end of our DIY conveyor and uh, these bottle cups acts as the load of our conveyor and they are the one that they are the one that we are counting so if the ir sensor senses that a bottle cup has passed then it relays a signal into our esp8266 and then the esp8266 then sends web socket message to all clients that is connected to our esp8266 in our case here, I can have multiple clients like my laptop here and then I have here also my mobile display and then each of each and every clients uh, will receive all of the information that is coming from the ESP8266 through WebSockets. When the WebSockets is received, it parses the WebSocket message and then it updates the counter in our HTML page. So that's the high level design of our ESP8266 conveyor counter. Then let's proceed to the wiring schematic. I only have two components in here, which is the Node MCU ESP8266 and the IR sensor. So this is just basically connecting the ground, ground BCC to the three bolts and the output is connected to the digital input pin which is number 2 or D2 so that's basically the wiring schematic and to discuss further regarding the project I have uploaded this the source code of this project into my github repository which you can access in my Donsky Tech platform IO projects so I use the platform IO projects in here since it's quite easy to develop 
Internet of Things application using this uh, extension from Visual Studio Code. You can download or clone this project and then after cloning or download, just open it into your Visual Studio Code. So this is the, the project of our ESP8266 conveyor counter. Basically, there's two important files that is needed. One is the data folder and the main.cpp file. The data folder contains the HTML page that we display into the user, while the main CPP file is the file that connects with the IR sensor and then updates the uh, clients that is connected to our WebSocket server. So in, in our case in here, so this is the index.html page. The takeaway here is the script.trans when the HTML page is loaded. So it opens a web socket connection into our ESP8266. Uh, this one is what we call as the template processing in our ESP async web server a library that we have used. And all of these messages are callback functions that gets called whenever a message is received from the ESP8266. So as you can see in here, the, the important thing here is the on message. And so, if something is received from the web socket, then what we did is we just update the user interface to show that the values that were received from the ESP8266. So that's all that there is for this for this file. The entire framework means that CSS is actually just a, a minified framework, which is the mean CSS. In, uh, this mean CSS is, I use this all the time because the, it makes our HTML pages look good when viewed in mobile application. So that's all there is actually with regards to the data folder. For the main.cpp file, as you can see in here, it's the standard programming uh, done using the Arduino framework. So I just have here the, the usual library import. And I'm using the little fs uh, for the ESP8266. Uh, when you download or uh, when you download or clone this project and you start running, just remember to change the SSID here. So uh, I have here also the web server, which acts as the uh, the web server for our project, and some IR sensor also. And there's actually different comments that I I added in here. So uh, you can take a look at how I created this, this project. And at the description of this video, you would see also the write-up so that you would, uh, if you want to cross-check or you want to check the explanation that I did in there. So just look, take a look at the uh, companion write-up. The main takeaway in here is that I still have the setup uh, function in here and the initialization of our uh, Wi-Fi, and then we also have the web sockets and the web server. So it's uh, it's almost the same. The thing that you would be uh, interested is in the loop function. So as you can see in the loop function, uh, I just check if the sensor read is uh, one or zero, and from the the value that I am getting from the sensor, I just added some logic in here. So there is a there there is a problem that I encountered with the IR sensor, wherein the IR sensor sends multiple messages. So what I did here is that I just added a neglect. So it, for example, the sensor sends me low low signal and then a low signal milliseconds. So what I did was for 1,000 millis 1,000 milliseconds or one second, I just ignore. For 1,000 seconds, uh, I will just ignore the signal that that was sent by the IR sensor. So that's basically the overall idea of how I created the project uh, for this ESP8266 conveyor. The if you want to follow along with this project, uh, there is uh, another video that I did on how I created my uh, cardboard DIY uh, conveyor system. So it's actually fun to do that project. So I hope you would uh, work. I hope you would check out 
Uh, and basically, that's all for the project uh, re uh, regarding this one. So if you have any questions or any problems, then you can just uh, send me a message through any of my channels or my website. Uh, and I'll be gladly uh, check your comments and then uh, get back to you. So that's it. Uh, happy exploring. Hi. If you like the videos that I have created, then please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and other social media channels. Hit the not notification button so that you will get notified for new contents. Please do comment, like, and share. Happy exploring!